Hello there, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. A while ago, the Backyard Scientist made a very popular video where he poured molten salt in an aquarium full of water and the thing went pop. Loved it, <laughs> looked sick. I wanted to do it, see if we could learn some more from the slow-mo. Yeah, the, the video had some slow-mo, some good slow-mo. However, we have much faster cameras now than even we did back then. So we thought, why don't we try and get that moment of impact on the surface and basically just watch the destruction for a bit longer. I'm going to try and add a little bit more salt in this time as well. You're going to get carried away, aren't you? I'm going to get a bit carried away. <laughs> yeah. What are the chances this tank survives the first go? High. High chance? Yeah. All right. Taking this off here. Ooh, I've warmed it up nicely already. Preheated. Preheated. <laughs> so I'm going to try a pretty, pretty big crucible full of salt here, just to try and get as big a reaction as we possibly can. That is a lot of salt. <laughs> That's a lot of salt. <laughs> Saltier than I am when I'm playing magic, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm pretty salty. Feels a little bit breaking bad, all this, sort of going out into the middle of nowhere to cook. Doesn't it? Looks like I'm in hell. <laughs> Not yet, B. I've got that to look forward to, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's the melting temperature of salt? I think it's like 800 something. Only 800? I think so. Blimey. I was wrong. It's 801. See, that's the kind of misinformation that we don't want to spread. Yeah, that's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Looking sweet, actually. It's been a while since you've been in the danger suit. It is. Never pleasant on a hot day. Make sure the back of your neck's covered too, just in case something hot lands down it. Yeah. I remember if at any point it feels unsafe, just don't do it. Yep, gotcha. All right. Whoa! Did the whole thing go in? Oh, she's gone! <laughs> I knew I should have done the wide first. Just mildly salted my lens there. I made, we made instant ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like smoking still here. God, the crucible's still re literally red hot. And that's red hot in daylight. Like if we were, if it was nighttime, that would be glowing. Like Look, it would actually be yeah. a light source. Fully. It was, it even faded since I put, taken out the tank and picked it up, it started to fade. Whoa. It's like lava, it's like clear lava. <laughs> what? Yeah, look at, the, look at the speed on those little steam explosions on impact. Wow, look at it. Just the more that hits the water, the more steam there is, like exponentially, just like it keeps exploding. It's sort of, you can't really tell from the scale, but this is 82,000 frames a second. Look, it looks like fire is being breathed from the crucible. Look at it. Look at all that orange coming out of it. Yeah. It looks like a really bad doorway. <laughs> It looks so this, soft. This expansion Whoa. is so fast. Look at it. It looks so fluffy. It's not droplets that we can even see. It just looks like a cloud. It is like instantly vaporized. I realize it's now coming out of focus, but even when it's like completely in focus, you still can't really make out any yeah. individual droplets of water. Look at the trajectory of the crucible. It gets like knocked. Yeah. It gets knocked to the side. Because I dropped the crucible into the water at the same time, there's still loads of molten salt left in the crucible. And that's causing like secondary explosions inside the water rather than just all happening on top. All right, let's try it again without the crucible going in, just a nice salt pour. And then let's just have this happen again, but I'll film it wider. All right. Because I unfortunately filmed the close up on the one where the <laughs> <laughs> crucible went. So I'm not sure what cracked it. It might have been the rapid change in temperature, but I suspect it's the fact that it still had loads of molten salt in it. And then when the water goes in and expands rapidly causing the steam, it's just crashed it apart like that. So it's more split apart from the inside as opposed to sh thermal shock or like impact. I think so, yeah. I think it's the fact that it had loads of molten salt in that expanded the steam immediately and just huh. had nowhere to go apart from here and there. Well, we only have one crucible, so uh, better pop down the old shops. So here we are, a year older. A year saltier. <laughs> a year wiser? Mm. <laughs> Do you have a escape, a escape path? We need to jump back, make it clear. Sound like a damn gun going off. It did, didn't it? 
Do you know what scared the absolute living turd out of me? What's that? These, they auto darken, so they're like sunglasses right now, yeah? Yeah. But then when I went like this, boof, 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 they just went black. And I was just like, <laughs> ah! Did you think you'd like gone blind? I just thought I'd like gone to the next realm or something. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, for like the tiniest period of time there. Are you right, B? Have you got a raised heart rate? Oh, whew. What? I think it's pretty good. Really? God, it's still so weird to see salt as liquid. It just does not look like salt, does it? No, it looks like I'm just pouring like mucky water in there. I really tried to give it a quick pour. I mean, it's a big glob. It didn't come into droplets Boom. or anything. Oh, immediate explode, Ooh. like loads of little explosions. Yeah. It sounded like uh, firecrackers going off, because obviously I didn't see it. I couldn't tell. Whoa! It's like a nuke going off in the water. But you still haven't even got all the salt in yet. So there's now going to be salt landing on the new oh. base of the water. Yeah, digging out water to yeah. put more water into. So now there's probably salt hitting below the frame. Whoa! That's the big glob I was talking about. It must be. Look at the displacement there. Savage, isn't it? Yeah. It's like warping the whole fish tank. <laughs> and you're like, jeez, yeah. I've gone blind. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I just gone totally blind. 930 degrees there. Celsius? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> the hell? crucible just went. That basically turned into a frag grenade. Because cause it went, dropped, when it hit the surface, it exploded before it went in the water. It must have done. Oh, it scorched the earth. It has. That has literally landed and burnt the ground. It's still red hot. And I think I made it much quicker this time. Yeah. Good pouring techers. Boom, 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 boom. power there from the explosions. That's just the water wanting to turn to gas. God, that is absolutely nuts. All right, so the first one blew out the tank because when it filled with water, it was the right way up and the water just sort of came in the top and blew out while it was underwater. But the second one landed upside down, which meant the steam rushed into it before it was fully submerged. It just exploded out the top of the tank. Yeah, when it cracked before, it said there was a hole where the steam could exit from, so it just cracked. This time, there was no such hole because it was yeah. just directly down, so it just exploded. Which is why it was in like 20 different fragments instead of just two. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh yeah, look at those red hot chunks just powering through the droplets of water there. Splush, splush, splush. Yeah, it's just it's so much faster. Nailing those drops. I'll be honest, that was everything I hoped. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it was fun. It was clearly more salt equals more damage and destruction, doesn't it? Yeah, just that spreaded surface area and the fact that it's, there's just even less place for the water to go. It just has to go up and out. Yeah. It's terrifying. It is really scary, isn't it? It's just that, that pressure that immediately builds from the steam just whoosh, straight away. And uh, I think because we're dropping the crucible in kind of by accident, it's kind of holding on a little bit and there's just more molten salt behind the molten salt, which led to like several explosions, it seemed. It was very interesting to me that that's quite a heavy crucible, the first one, and it got knocked by the explosion. Like yeah. it was falling and its trajectory got changed by the explosion beneath it. Well, I mean, to be fair, trains used to be moved by steam. True. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Make sure you watch the original video. It'll be in the description. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.